I am from Southern California and went to the Uni University of Redlands for my undergraduate work. And uh, also I got a master's degree in music there. Uh, I studied w with Leslie Spellman and Raymond Bayes. And Raymond Bayes had studied with Helmut Walsh in Germany. And so I was aware of Walsh through Bayes. And then I began to listen to Walsh's recordings and was of Bach and was very impressed by them. And um, so I applied for a German government grant uh, to go study with Walsh. And I uh, went and um, whatever I expected, uh, it was so much more powerful than, than I could have expected. He was completely blind, and he had such a thorough and intimate knowledge of the music of Bach that uh, I, uh, it's been a source of inspiration for me my whole life to, to be connected with somebody who had that kind of knowledge of the music. He, the typical way that he learned a Bach piece was from inside out, in other words, he would have someone else sit at the keyboard and over four measures or so play, if the piece had four parts, four melodies, play the soprano part twice and he would memorize it. Then the alto part twice, he'd memorize that. And same with the tenor, the same with the bass. And then he would sit down at the keyboard and put all those melodies together by himself. So he had learned the music each strand separately before he put everything together. And my very first lesson with him, he assigned uh, two or three Orgel, Orgel Buchlein Chorale Preludes. And when I came back the next week uh, with the first one, he said, um, okay, don't, they had four melodies. He said, leave out the soprano. That had the chorale tune. Play just the alto. Leave out the tenor, but sing that and then also play the bass and the pedals. So I was playing the alto part and the bass and the pedals while I had to sing the tenor part in the middle. And of course the point he was making is that I should be able to, as if I were conducting a choir, know exactly what the tenor was doing as well as the alto and uh, the internal parts in other words. And uh, Valsha could, while you were playing any Bach piece for him, sing one of the melodies, uh, the alto or the tenor or whatever. Um, he knew the music well enough, so he knew even where the page turns were. He'd turn your pages for you. Um, it was a, an amazing knowledge of, of the music. And even though performance styles have changed a great deal in many ways since I studied with him, um, whatever style one uses to play Bach, uh, still ideally should go back to that intimate knowledge of the music itself. And so seeing someone who went to those lengths to get to such an intimate knowledge of it was in a way the most important aspect of my study with him.